Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today's tutorial is a simple Indian look using all drugstore makeup. This is a new series where I show you a few Indian makeup tutorials. So let's break it down. I start off with my favorite primer from The Ordinary. This is an important step for anyone that has an oily face or acne prone. In fact, it is just a very important step to take. I then use the Matte Fit Me by Maybelline and use my fingers here to apply to the key areas that require coverage. And with the warmth of my fingertips, I start to blend. I tap on the blemishes much more, making sure that it blends really well on my cheeks as well as on my neck area. Remember this is a simple look so you want your skin to look like skin and not cakey. Now I take my damp beauty sponge and I gently dab on my skin and then push the product in further. Dabbing it this way ensures you have a very good coverage and it does not move the foundation. Now I take my concealer and apply to the places I want to conceal and brighten. Since it's a shade lighter to my skin tone, I take my brush and gently blend it. Once I'm happy with that and I've seen that it has settled on my skin pretty well, I start with my eye makeup. I use these three eyeshadows that I'm showing you, white as a base, dark grey brown for only the outer area of my eyes, lavender tone for the inner corner to the midsection of my eyelid. First the base. Then the dark grey brown on the outer corner which I blend really well just to give it some depth. I take my time while I'm doing my eye makeup and I make sure I really blend that. Then I add the pinky tone in the middle to add a little more vibrance. And with a clean blending brush, I blend that crease line really well so that there's no harsh line. With a brown eye pencil, I'm making a soft, smoky eyeliner. I didn't use black since it's a simple look and it could look a bit harsh. I apply this and smudge it out softly. I'm also creating a very soft wing liner with this eye pencil and smudging it out. I do the same to the lower lash line and I smudge it out very well. What I'm also doing is I'm connecting the lower lash line to my smoky wing eyeshadow. Now I'm taking a black eye pencil and apply it gently to my waterline and I'm not darkening it. An Indian eye makeup is incomplete without a bit of coal. Don't forget to do the same for the upper lash line. It just adds more depth to your eyes. Now I further smudge the lower lash line with a bit of that grey brown eyeshadow. I create more definition to my wing liner by using a flat surface like my foundation tube and it's just to help me. Now I take my color correcting powder and I dab it on my face just to kind of set it and mattify it and put some extra banana powder under my eyes. This is just to brighten it. Get it. 
I contour slightly with my bronzing powder I brush off the banana powder and I take the same shimmery white eyeshadow from the palette and highlight the inner corner of my eyes it just adds a pop of brightness to your eyes whenever you do that and I do the same thing on my brow bone and on the cupid bow I contour my nose too making sure that I connect it from my eyebrows all the way to the tip of my nose and that's very important to remember whenever you're contouring your nose and with my fingers I take a little bit of a highlighter and I just apply that on the bridge of my nose and I'm adding more highlighter you know to my lips as well but that's a little bit later now for my eyebrows I'm making it darker and longer and I draw a few hair like strokes just to make it a little more thicker I'm taking my sleek palette and you know just highlighting giving it a little more of a glow on my lips as well and I'm taking a dark brown lip pencil to contour I'm doing this technique to make my lips appear fuller so I use a dark brown or a dark lip pencil always on the outer corner of my lips before I fill in my lipstick and I gently lighten the lip pencil using my fingers before I apply a pinky berry tone lipstick I'm also dabbing and pressing my lips so that it appears much more blended and full. You can see no harsh lines from my lip pencil right now. I apply my next blush on the center of my face, on the cheeks, all the way to the outer area, all the way to the hairline as you can see, just to give it a little bit of a dimension and a pop of color to my face. I finish it off with my matte setting spray. You can use a setting spray of your choice. I apply plenty of mascara to my lashes and this is an important step since there is no false lashes here or dramatic wing liner. This is the final look for me. A bindi definitely completes my look. Hope you enjoyed watching the first video from the series and do subscribe for more. Hope you are taking part in the Primark accessories giveaway that's happening on my channel at the moment. The link is all there in the info bar as well as click the link above me. Do take part in it. It's kind of fun. Until later, bye for now my loves.